Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome in. Welcome back to another episode of the Format Podcast Live Wednesday Night Edition. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Me and my main man, the Transformer. We're going to set it off for you all for midweek tonight. Give you all a break from all this crazy politics and stuff that's going on. And uh, we're just going to talk sports, man. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Well, hey, look, we told we told everybody to go out and vote, right? And everybody did that. So, uh, you know, we got what we got. And uh, best of luck going forward. Anyway, um, <laughs> Transformer, what's good with you, bro? Man, chilling, brother. Feeling feel good. That. No Gino tonight, Edward. What's going on, brother? <clears throat> how you been, bro? You been all right? Maintaining, man. Maintaining. You know how I do. Always, man. Sit back, relax, and listen up, all right? That's it, man. That's 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 how we that's how we do it here. That's how we do it here. <laughs> this is how we do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we got some good topics for you all tonight, man. Um, we're gonna obviously it's Wednesday, so we're gonna do the pick'em. So you guys are ready for the uh NFL week, which commences tomorrow night with a pretty good one, I must say. And uh then we'll go, we'll uh briefly talk about the uh NFL trade deadline. Um, I don't think anything too crazy happened there, but we saw a couple teams make some moves that might uh, help them out in the long run. And then, of course, um, the big one, I, I was really interested to do this topic. Can Larry Bird play today? I think that's going to be pretty cool. And then we'll talk about the initial college football playoff rankings because, man, college football is freaking awesome. So um, we'll get there. Uh, yeah. But before we get to all of that, you know what time it is. If you're here on YouTube and you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, click that like, that subscribe, that notification bell. Make sure you're kept up to date whenever we drop new content on the channel. If you want the audio only version of the podcast, open up your audio podcast platform, hit the search bar, type in the format podcast, and we should come right up. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you give us that like, that five star review, and drop a comment. All that stuff helps us rise in the algorithm, helps us find more sports fans, helps more sports fans find us. And finally, make sure you write it down, put it in your phone, set an alarm, do whatever you got to do to remember. Saturday nights at 7 p.m., we are live here on the Format Podcast, and we'll give you the opportunity to call in, talk to us, get at me. I love it. I can't. All right, let's do it. Let's get to the pick 'em. All right, weekly pick them. So, guys, we wrapped up week nine last week in a total of 10 out of 15 games for Big Bruce and 12 out of 15 for <laughs> your boy. Okay, okay. Congrats. All right. All right. Well, look, I mean, congrats. <laughs> that's that's definitely – I like that. 12 out of 15, that's good. And but, man, 12 know. out of 15. Of course, I went with the home team, so that was one mm -hmm. of the losses. Mm -hmm. uh, right, New Orleans right. screwed me over. And then uh, the Chargers game, I think that's the that's the other one that I picked wrong. So everything – oh, oh, look, technical difficulties. Time out. Time out. Time out. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, but, yeah. Every other team I picked, I uh, pretty much hit it on no. So, you know, good job from both of us. 10-15, that's that's pretty good record. Um, you know, pretty good numbers. 10 out of 15 is very, very good. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to move on over to week 10, guys. Week 10, hopefully you guys are writing this down. Let us know what you guys think up in the chat when we're naming off these teams, we're naming off these games. If you guys got an upset that you got a team that's on upset alert, feel free to go ahead and hop up in the chat, man. But we're going to go ahead and go to Thursday. Boy, I mean, they, they're starting off it right this week. This is a great game to start off uh, week it 10. Sure with, is. Especially it since sure everybody's going to start gunning for the playoffs. Now that mm -hmm. the trade uh, deadline is over, we're going to get into a little bit of that later. But we're starting off week 10 with Cincinnati traveling to Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Baltimore is a six-point favorite, 815. Bruce, who do you have? Man, so... <laughs> Um, another tough one. Um, I want to use the logic and say that division games are going to split, but, uh, Baltimore, obviously two weeks ago had that bad loss in Cleveland, kind of got that taste out of their mouth by, uh, just demolishing who the hell they beat up last week, uh, put 41 on Denver. Denver. Yes. Denver. One of the best defenses in the league. Cincinnati's defense is suspect. However, we know Cincinnati can pass the ball. And uh, yes, they, they are aggressive downfield. Joe Burrow is playing really well. And I want to I want to say Cincinnati splitting. But whenever Baltimore loses, it's like they go on a four or five game uh, heater. And so I think that's going to continue. I got Baltimore winning this game here. 
I don't think they blow them out, but I think they win comfortably seven to ten points. Okay, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got I got Baltimore. I want to pick Baltimore as well, but like I said, uh, like you said, Baltimore with that loss against Cleveland in a mm-hmm. divisional, they played before nail biter shootout. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. Uh, Cincinnati was a field goal kick and a couple of snaps away from winning that football game. Mm-hmm. Boy, uh, it's hard for me to not pick Cincinnati for this one, mm-hmm. man. Uh, I think, I think, it's, I think we're probably going to have another shootout. Uh, Cincinnati has more to fight for, right? Baltimore true. can truly, you know, kind of get a little step back in their ways. Granted, it's an individual game, but I mm-hmm. think Cincinnati truly has more to fight for. So I'm gonna take my talents to Cincinnati for one mm-hmm. week. I'm gonna leave Baltimore for one week. Um, mm-hmm. I think I picked them in every game this year. So did you? Except the, yeah, except the Kansas City okay. game. I picked Kansas City um, uh-huh. the weekly opener, but I think I picked Baltimore literally every week that they played. Um, so this is gonna be the other week that I'm going to go against uh, Baltimore and I'm going to go with Cincinnati here. I just think Joe Burrow, like he's hot right now. Um, and like I said, they just have a little bit more to fight for than mm-hmm. Baltimore. Ba- Baltimore can get caught with their, with their, uh, uh, with their, caught with the hands in their pocket. There you go. Give me something. All right. <laughs> caught with the hands <laughs> in their pocket you. and Cincinnati can really snuff them and uh, sneak off for the win. So I'm going to ride with right. Cincinnati on this one. All right, so let's right. keep in mind here real quick before you do that on the injury report. T. Higgins is doubtful. Uh, Eric All Jr., the tight end, is on IR, so he won't be playing. Uh, Orlando Brown Jr., uh, son of Zeus, former Raven, he's questionable. So even if he plays, he's not near 100%. And Baltimore doesn't have any key injuries uh, other than Isaiah Likely, but we know that uh, Mark Andrews is kind of back in the fold and, and playing very similarly to the way he used to. So it's not going to be... It's not going to be a killer missing likely. Obviously, he's very good, but uh, it's not going to be a killer. So uh, I think the injuries are going to lean towards the Ravens, and that's another reason I got to pick them. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Mm-hmm. I just not thought about it because we're going to talk about it later. Y'all picked up uh, – what's his name? Jadavious yeah, White. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Shadavius White from Jadavious the Rams. White. So we got a, yeah another corner. Uh, I don't know if he's going to play tomorrow night, though, but I, don't think I think so that's either. a good pickup. Because he was just traded yesterday. So, yeah, I highly doubt he suits up tomorrow. So that's not a factor. Um, Give me a second, Edward. I think you might be right on that. Uh, uh, Chase Brown? Did he nah, just nah, play? No, 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 no. He's playing, Edward. Yeah, Chase Brown no, played no last week. No injuries are running back for the Bengals. Yeah. And they just made it uh, – I think they had a pickup as well. They – uh. Who did the Bengals pick up? They picked up another running back. Um, I can't remember. You got the, you got the numbers in mind? Hmm? Let me see. Who did the Bengals just trade for? Where's Tyler when you need him? <laughs> right. Give me a second. They just made a trade. Uh, trade deadline tracker. Da, 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 da. Herbert. Hibbert, Hilbert, what's his name? The uh, uh, the boy that used to play for uh, Chicago. Khalil Herbert. Khalil Herbert. There you go. That's a good pickup. Yeah, yeah. They just he's not a superstar, well. but he's good. That's a good pickup. Yeah, okay. yeah. That long with Chase Brown, I think you're gonna have you know a decent, decent little run game. So they try to spike it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. But yeah, that's what I'm. I'm, I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm not gonna backtrack now. Uh, that may be okay. my one L on next week's uh. <laughs> total total loss call. Of <laughs> oh, one L, huh? huh? Yeah, one L. You know, I may get I the rest you. of these joints right. You know, I'm, I'm uh, good like that, right? Uh, uh, so we're going to move on over to Sunday. Uh, the New York Giants are going to travel yes. the, the head coach killers in the Carolina mm. Panthers. Who you have in this one, man? Yo, I, first of all, can I just say real quick, that's a terrible game to export. <laughs> like, you're, you're trying to build up an international season. fan base and you send two bad teams over there. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I think there's more to it than that, but I wouldn't have sent them dudes, man. That's just bad. Like, I, I don't know what you do. Um, let's see. I think so Look far overseas, the only winning football teams have been Green Bay and Philadelphia. Other than that, it's been Jags. It's been – the Bears are tied. They're 500, so I'm not going to say they're a losing mm-hmm, team. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to have the Giants. You're going to have Carolina. And I can't think of who – I think it was the Colts. I'm trying to think mm. who else the Jags played. Somebody the Jags played somebody else over there. Okay. Probably Seattle. Maybe it was Seattle. I can't remember. 
But uh, but yeah, man. Yeah, exporting bad football. That's all I know. Yeah, true. <laughs> that should be where the Cincinnati Baltimore game is at. Well, that would, that would be pretty cool. But you know, teams got to <laughs> give up a home game to do that. So you know, there's correct, that part correct. of it too. Um, yeah. So Giants and the Panthers, man. <sighs> Both of them are just bad. Both of them are bad. I'm gonna go with the Giants here. Daniel Jones has looked a little better as of late. A little better, just a, just a little bit. A poco. Uh, no, um, a little better. And uh, I don't, I don't trust that Carolina is gonna play well two weeks in a row. Because again, just a bad football team. Um, Chuba Hubbard is trying. He, he's doing everything he can. He's got 665 rushing yards so far, halfway through the season. So. He's on pace for a very solid uh, season rushing the football. But other than that, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Giants here, man. It's just yeah. two bad teams, and that's a real pick em, but I'm going to go with the Giants. No, true. I'm going to go with the Giants as well because Brian Dayball, don't want to, he doesn't want to get fired. That's true. So he's got to <laughs> keep competing, right? Hey, look, if yeah. you just saw Dennis Allen get fired for losing, mm. and right now you're on the hot seat, you're like, wait, wait a minute. Nah. Good point. Nah, this ain't <laughs> – I can't and go as, out here and lose this. And as far as I know, Baltimore Brian Dayball does not speak German, so I don't think he wants to get left over there. Nah, he doesn't want to get left over there. All of a sudden, his room right. key don't work back to his hotel. Right, right. His, his passport ain't working no more. Mm-hmm. Like, New York Giants will cut him off and leave him over there. But I'm going to ride with uh, the fact that Eric, uh, Brian Dayball doesn't want to get fired, and I like the Giants' defense better to, you know, disrupt uh, a younger Bryce Young, uh, who's in his second season, still trying to figure it out. Had a great drive last game to uh, beat the New Orleans Saints, but I think the Giants' defense would try to be like, "Hey, yo, look here, go, 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 destroy that kid!" Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I'm not trying to get fired. Like this is not a game that we're trying to lose, especially before they start getting back into the individuals game. So, Danny oh, yeah. Sullivan was good. Good to see you. Uh, haven't seen you here before. Uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe on the channel. You got a little bit before we get to that topic, but we're definitely going to. I agree. I agree, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> but, yeah, make sure you hit like, like and subscribe on the channel. And uh, also, man, share it out if uh, you know other people who might uh, like this content as well. But, yeah, thanks for being here. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, go ahead, man. All right. Uh, moving on over to game number two. Yes. New England travels uh-huh. to Chicago at 1 o'clock on a Sunday uh-huh. afternoon. Um. Uh-huh. My first thought is to go to Chicago here. Uh, the two very good defensive teams. And, and I'll tell you, uh, what's my man's name? The uh, rookie quarterback for Drake New May. England. Drake May, thank you. He um He's showing a little something. The Slide. kid's not a bum. He's solid. Yeah, he can, he, he's got a little more than we thought. Uh, so let's look at the injury report real quick. Yeah, he's he's got a little bit more than we thought. Um, it doesn't appear to be theirs. Oh, okay, so Montez Sweat. It's questionable. That's tough. Uh, Kyler Gordon and Jaquan Brisker. Oh, so tough guys in the in the secondary as well as their best pass rusher for Chicago. But um, I just I, I just feel like New England doesn't have enough, and the Bears are still in contention and confident that maybe they can pull off a wild spot and and continue to play. Um, yeah, so I, I'm I'm gonna go with the Bears here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm going I'm to go with the Bears. I went against them last week. I was right. But I'm going to go with them this week um, because they need to get it right, right? Uh, right mm-hmm. now, they're seeing the rest of our division kind of take off. Uh, yeah, this is the week away. that you definitely want to catch up. Uh, Green Bay is going to be on a bye week, so you can you at least want to come out of here five and four. You don't mm-hmm. want to go four and five because that door starts to shut on you real fast, especially with uh, the, N- the NFC East. No, NFC West. Uh, you know, bulking up the way they're bulking up with the Rams, uh, yeah, Seattle, yeah. San Fran, right. and all those guys fighting for those fights yeah. for that spot. Uh, Arizona mm-hmm. Cardinals as well. So you don't want to be on that train, um, you know, going at it at four and five because now that mm-hmm. window closes real, real fast. Um, it does. One of one or two of those teams get hot. So I think this is a game that they want to come in and be like, okay, listen, you know, defense. This is one of them games we're going to need you to step up. And, uh, you know, you're really trying to, you know, run the football more than you want to put uh, Caleb Caleb Williams throwing the ball in the air. So I think it's going to be a, a good game for Chicago to take this one away. They favor about six and a half. That's a lot. It's, these back-to-back games, they favor about six and a half points. But it could be a nail-biter. It could be mm-hmm. a nail-biter. All right. Um, we're going to move on over to Buffalo traveling to the Indian in Indianapolis Colts. Mm-hmm. Against the old dinosaur over there and Joe Flacco, man. Who you got? Joe Flacco. Yeah, no, I got Buffalo here, man. Josh Allen, if I'll tell you, 
if it wasn't for Lamar Jackson and Jared Goff playing how they're playing, Lamar ja- uh, Lamar Jackson, uh, Josh Allen would probably be the presumptive MVP uh, favorite. He is playing very, very well. I mean, when last have you seen to this point in the season Josh Allen have two interceptions? Never. Thank you. He's not Never. turning the ball over. You know, he's completing at a good percentage, and he's got 2,000 passing yards already. So halfway through the season, you know, he, he's looking at what – Let's say he keeps up this pace. He's going to have 4,000 passing yards, 35 touchdowns, and four picks. Sounds like Aaron Rodgers. Uh, yes, it In does. MVP season. At no, that. no, no, it does. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's so, Aaron um, Rodgers had those numbers. Yeah. That's right. Now he's playing extremely <laughs> old Aaron, well. Old Aaron, guys. So if you guys are watching, old, yes, old Aaron, Aaron, not Aaron for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Karen Aaron already has double-digit interceptions probably. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Um, but, then you uh, got – you got Zaire Franklin, questionable uh, linebacker for the Colts. I think over the last three years, he's led the league in total tackles, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, Michael not Pittman Jr. For sure. Yes, wide receiver yeah. for, for the Colts, questionable. Center Ryan Kelly's on IR. I mean, that that's tough. Those are tough um, losses there. Now, uh, the other problem, uh, Josh Allen, he's going to have to put on the Superman cape. Amari Cooper's questionable. Keon Coleman, questionable. Curtis Can- Curtis Samuel, questionable. So pretty much his entire receiving core is questionable. So he is going to have to not only work with whoever's left, but he's going to have to make those uh, incredible plays in, in the offense in terms of using his legs to get out and, uh, you know, move the chains where there's nothing there downfield because he doesn't have the weapons. But yeah. despite all that, I think the Bills are just the better team. And they are probably, um, I was about to say they're right there with the Ravens, but when they took on the Ravens, they got manhandled. Uh, so they're probably, you know, it's all about matchups, but they're one of the better teams in the AFC. Yeah. So, I mean, they're, they're seven and two and, you know, Josh Allen is playing tremendously. So uh, we'll, we'll see what, um, damn Steph, we'll see what, uh, what's going on. I, I got the bills, huh? <laughs> Focus. <laughs> yeah, Steph just like got that. knocked down and, and banged like in the Steph. three. I'm like, who the hell is yeah. Steph? Ain't no Steph on that team. Look, my bad, man. My Caesar <laughs> playing, man. You know what this is. <laughs> I feel you on that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this one away. Uh, yes, I'm gonna I'm go with Buffalo. Okay. Um, because I don't think all them boys are gonna be out, right? I don't think Shakir okay. or Cooper and uh my boy Coleman, uh, Gold Nose. Mm-hmm. Are, are going to be out. So I think at least two of those players are going to play. Mari Cooper did miss last week. So I think this is going to be a week that he's more than likely to return um, mm-hmm. along with either Shakir or, or um, uh, Keon Coleman. So I think they take it away with this one. Um, Indianapolis, they're going to be battling. I think it's going to be a tough fought game. I do mm-hmm. expect them to get back to running the football. They weren't mm-hmm. able to run the football last week at all with Jonathan Taylor. However, he did get dinged up at the end of that football game. So I'm curious to see what version of Tom, Jonathan Taylor that they use or if right. that injury was anything, you know, surreal to where, you know, it could cause him to be, you know, a little limpy this game. But uh, I'm going to go with Buffalo here. I mean, Josh Allen has just literally been playing lights out um, compared to previous seasons with better weapons. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to go with him on that premise, man. All you. right. Uh, Denver travels to the undefeated. Mm-hmm. Unscathed, mm-hmm. back to back champs, Kansas yeah. City Chiefs. Yeah, man. You got so, it, man. if if I told you that was this ten games into the season that uh, Bo Nix would have more passing attempts than Patrick Mahomes and less interceptions, would you have believed me? Hell no. Well, it's true. <laughs> That's crazy, right? That's now, nuts. now I'm I'm not making any crazy statements by giving that stat. I'm just saying it's an interesting stat. That's all there is to it. But no, no, no absolutely, um, <laughs> right? But um, the Chiefs are eight and zero, and this is not going to be the week that they become eight and one. Uh, don't get me wrong, Broncos are a really good defense, one of the best in the league. They just came off getting uh, massacred by the by the Ravens last week, and Deep they're going to be upset. But they're still not going to be able to have enough to uh to win this game and then when you when you count in uh uh Steve Spagnolo and the and the the Chiefs defense against the rookie yeah ain't going to happen captain they're uh, nah. uh yeah so I definitely got the Chiefs here and nah, I hate nah, to go it, chalk on most of these but it kind of seems like that's how it's going to work out nah i mean y- y- you're not wrong uh i think Steve Spags is a little upset with his defense and the showing that they gave against the Tampa Bucks and how mm-hmm. uh 
uh, Baker Mayfield touchdown maker. Baker, 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 Baker touchdown maker went down there mm-hmm. and actually scored and had a chance to, yeah, uh, you know, take the lead and you know possibly win. I mm-hmm. think he's looking at his defense like, yo, all right, y'all got yeah. punched in the mouth last week. Let's yeah. let's go do what the Ravens did. Not necessarily you know run up That's the right. scoreboard like that, but mm-hmm. defensively we're we're making it real real uncomfortable for that kid back there. So I, de- I right. definitely expect Chris Jones and that D line mm-hmm. to just really get after Bo Nix. Get him off of his spot, and then you got McDuffie and those guys back there just ready to, you know, <laughs> waiting for the ball to fall in their hands and run the opposite direction. So I think this is going to be definitely one of them games, but I, I do, I, I'm going to ride with Kansas City on this one. Yes, sir. Ride with the champs, 9 and 0 on, on the way. No doubt. All right. Uh, next one, man, at the beginning of the season, you would have been like, oh, man, this would be a great game, possibly. Now you're probably like, mm. uh, Atlanta mm. is going to be traveling to New Orleans. <laughs> Right to get some beignets and some gumbo. And That's it. <laughs> That's it. Who do you have with this one, brother? Man, you already know, man. Um, you are, you have uh, kind of gotten me over to your, uh, got me over to uh, your side? original stance when it comes to uh, Atlanta. Um, obviously, especially with uh, the injuries to Tampa Bay and just how bad the Saints and the and the uh, Panthers are. Uh, looks like. Uh, Falcons clearly will win this division. Obviously, they've already beaten the Buccaneers twice, and uh, the Bucs aren't going to get any better. So you've got that going on. And, um, I mean, At- Atlanta is just a better team. The Bucs are complete – not the Bucs, the Saints are completely in flux. No one knows what's going on with them. Coach just got fired. I mean, the, yeah, w- w- what are you going to say? If you can if you can even control Alvin Kamara, you're going to win this game comfortably. So definitely Easy. Atlanta here. Yeah, easily. Uh, on top of that, New Orleans just traded away their best corner, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to be without your best receiver in Olave. You're out your yes. second best receiver in Rashid, Rashid right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally, right. the only thing you have is Derek Carr and Alvin Kamara, right? Mm-hmm. Your defense took a blow. Your offense took a blow. Um, so, literally, you're going to be trying to run the football, and I think Atlanta looks at that and goes, oh, okay, <laughs> we're just going to load up the box mm-hmm. and make Derek Carr try to beat us with whatever weapon that he has left that's out there. Right. So, right. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a, this is going to be a good game. I think Kirk Cousins is going to expose whoever that uh, second or third corner oh, coming yeah. off that bench is going to be. Oh, yeah. And he's going to he's going to have a good game. So if you got him in your fantasy league and y'all do bonuses, this might be that mm-hmm. week you want to pick Kirk Cousins. Yeah, um, no doubt. And he can do it. <laughs> yeah, he can so, do it, as you guys can see. Yeah. <laughs> 500, yeah. 500 yards against Tampa. That's right. That's uh, in right. the previous uh, the first showing that they had this season. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, that was a I'm great gonna, game, man. That was a great game. Anyway, shoot, it was a shootout. Shoot out, boy. Like him and Baker were just like, yeah. none of them was just going to that bench without no points. None yeah, that was good to see. Yeah, really good. It was to a see. good one. Man, uh, on, man. Stop turning the ball over. <sighs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Come on, man. Celtics, man. You know. What what what's this what's this like game seven? Not really the point though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'm gonna focus for real. I'm gonna focus for all real. Right. <laughs> all right, moving on. Uh we got the San Francisco 49ers coming off of a bye week to travel to go see Baker Baker touchdown maker Mayfield at one o'clock. Who do you have in that game, brother? Um man, this is this is so tough. Uh, San Francisco, really good coming off a bye. Um, I don't know if uh, C-Mac is going to be back. Um, uh, you know what? You know what? I've been calling chalk this whole time. I am going to go with Tampa Bay here. Uh, Baker okay. has kind of shown that he doesn't have his main weapons, but he's not super dependent on them in that he can still be a quality player and playmaker without them. And again, he played extremely well. He played very well, like we said last week against the champs. Uh, he is, uh, I'm going to go with the Bucks here, man. I, I am. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Bucks. All I right. think Baker's leading the league in touchdown passes too at 23. Um, oh, he's up there. 23 touchdowns, nine interceptions on the year. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the Bucks here, man. It's a bit of an upset, but. You know, like I always say, it's hard to maintain losing streaks in the NFL, just like it's hard to maintain winning streaks. So um, the Buccaneers need this badly. Raheem Morris is a very good uh, defensive coach. I think they've got a chance to be successful. Um, 
yeah, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Bucks here. Okay, I'm gonna go with San Fran. All right. Okay. okay. And no, not because my brother just hopped in the chat and said something about Larry Bird, but I'm gonna oh, go with San, Fr- San Francisco 49ers uh, um, in this game. Uh, they're coming off of a bye week. They're possibly <laughs> gonna have great. Christian McCaffrey back. Uh, and I, I I truly think that that defense has something to they, uh, they truly have something to fight for as well. Like I've just yeah. said, uh, yeah. NFC West uh, is a tough tough division right now. Mm-hmm. Not as far as like best uh, and top standings, but like either one of them getting out of it. They're all sitting at five and four or four and five right now. Yo, so yo. Um, this is definitely going to be one of those games. Like okay, we're getting our we're getting our best running back back, right? Yeah. Uh, we're getting Debo Samuel back. Let's hey, let's go ahead and start making this run now because if we don't. Uh, Arizona, Seattle, or or the Los uh, Los Angeles Rams, they're literally coming to take over that division, right? And you mm-hmm. don't want to fall mm-hmm. behind on that. So no. I, I think there's going to be one of those games where San Fran definitely uh, picks up the pace a little bit um, and tr- is truly just get after Tampa on this one. Uh, I've seen okay. – uh, from Tampa in the last game, they're gonna try to use. He's gonna try to use that tight end as much as possible. That mm-hmm. and uh, Sterling Shepard. So yeah, I, I think if you yeah. you take that tight end away, and I think uh, what's his name, Lenore, uh, he can he could definitely uh, cover uh, mm-hmm. Sterling Shepard. So you know it's definitely gonna do. What's the, what's good, new breed? What's goody? But uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna go with San Fran on this one. New breed, what's popping, man? How you doing? What's popping? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. Oh, my bad. I thought we just, <laughs> just took it off right there, man. All right, uh, going did. to the next game. Oh, Pittsburgh is going to be traveling to Washington to try to play the rookie. Okay, so um, my bad. Were you ready? <laughs> my bad. Ready? Yeah. All right, cool. So as, as well as Washington has played so far, uh, Jaden Daniels is still a rookie, and I am going to go here with Pittsburgh. I yeah. think they're going to throw a lot of things defensively at him that he's going to have a lot of difficulty with. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. And um, as we've seen, uh, the downfield passing attack clearly has improved with Russell Wilson coming off the bench and becoming the starter. Is he Russell Wilson of old? No, but that's not what they need him to be. They just need the the defense to continue to be elite. They need to be able to run it a bit. And don't get me wrong, this Washington football team, as I, as we talked about the other night, it's a very good football team. But yep. I'm going Pittsburgh here because I think the defense is just that good. And now with an improved offense, they're going to be really tough to beat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go Pittsburgh here. Uh, ditto everything you said, bro. I mean, you literally took every word that I was going to mention. Pittsburgh's defense is uh, just coming off of a bye week as well. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be showing up by a rookie. Right? And I think that's in TJ Watt's head, like, Oh, I'm about to get him. Like, nah, y'all haven't nobody in the league showed him who, who's boss yet. Okay, cool. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go up against yeah. this uh this uh Pittsburgh defense. And then mm-hmm. I mean, not only that, Mike Tomlin is just one hell of a coach. Uh, this team against in your very first game um, yeah, against that team. Uh, mm-hmm. Granted, they're gonna be in Washington. He, I mean, he's lucky enough that it's not at home because it would have been. I think it would have been curtains um, for for Jaden <laughs> Daniels if it, if it would have okay. been, but. I think Pittsburgh goes to Washington, uh, beats Washington. I think it's still going to be a close game. Yeah, I, I don't I do. think Jaden Daniels is going to lay down. Uh, no. Neither is that team. But no. I think, you know, Pittsburgh definitely going to have, you know, has that defense to at least if it gets to the fourth quarter, they can close it out, dial up some pressures and really make it uncomfortable for them. So mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Pittsburgh as well. Yep. All right. The next one, we really don't even have to get into much, but Minnesota is going to beat the Jaguars. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Not <messing Correct>. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> what, what were we going to say? say? Yes, th- there's nothing to say. <laughs> Jacksonville, man, we live here. Oh, we, my goodness. We love it. We love Florida. We just got a bad we- football team here, man. It's just a horrible <laughs> football team. I mean, you know, Dougie, Dougie P is on his way out the door. Mm-hmm. You know, you paid Trevor 250 so you know he's not mm-hmm. out the door. Um, nope. I mean, at this point, what do you want us to do? Right? We got nothing good to say about the Jacksonville Jaguars, mm-hmm. who are currently what two and two and two and seven? Are, are these two and seven? Uh, I two and seven, seven, I believe. Yeah, two yeah. And seven. Whatever, Wh- whatever the case is, it's bad. It's bad out here. So Minnesota, I'm just going ahead and click that box for you. You don't even have to tell me why. We're gonna move on over to Tennessee. <laughs> oh uh, man, hey, real quick, let me shout out New Breed, man. Uh, I yeah. see your comment, man. Good stuff, Golden Tate, man. That, that's what's up. Um, go Irish. Uh, good. That, that's cool, man. We're going to have to talk about that offline. But, yeah, that's nice. Don't get that man started, New Breed. I said offline. 
we was having a good time, right? I said offline, man. Don't, don't get the man started. He ain't had to put it in the chat, Bruce. Why? He could have just, just direct messaged you or something. I like didn't that. even, I didn't even, you know. What? Tennessee is traveling to. Oh, I know what it is. You just mad. Okay. Yeah. You just mad because of what we about to do to your boys on Saturday night. That's, that's what it is. You mad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I honestly have forgotten about that entire franchise. I mean, entire school, right? I forgot about that entire school. After week three, I threw it, I threw it up. I'm like, yep, it's, mm -hmm. it, this is this is just all downhill from here. Yeah, and better clearly I was right. Get that butt cutting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, right. Whoever we beat this year, your whole uh, team needs to be reevaluated. Because right now, that's how bad FSU is right now. Oh, so, my goodness. Yeah, we got nothing to... I mean, there's there's nothing going on over there, right? So, yeah, I don't. Yeah. That's crazy. But anyway, let's get back anyway, to it. All right, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna talk about a little college football later. <laughs> no breeze, you're good, bro. <laughs> Sid Bubba, what's good, brother? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Good to see Sid you, Bubba. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Tennessee is gonna be traveling to Los Angeles to play the Chargers. Who do you got in that game? Um, I got the Chargers, man. The Tennessee is another football team that's not good, and Jim Harbaugh, he's he's got the formula. He has yep. the formula that he's always had. It doesn't change. Play good defense, run the football, stop the run. And, uh, yeah, I think he's going to be able to do that. And I'm not – and he's got the superior quarterback. I'm not at all concerned uh, that Tennessee can win this. Now, of course, it's the NFL, but yep. I'm yeah, not at all have. concerned. And I I, I got um, I got uh, uh, the Chargers winning this game fairly easily. Yeah. I honestly think, you know, the, the rest of these games are just kind of – easy pickums except for monday night but mm -hmm. the Chargers is definitely one of them uh just run the football and you'll, yeah, you'll beat the titans yeah i mean right. i think it's, it is it doesn't get much simpler than that um mm -hmm. jim john jim john I always get this back jim. jim jim all right <laughs> jim is not gonna let mason rudolph beat him <laughs> <laughs> that's a great point, a great point. You know, so uh definitely I'm, I'm riding with the Chargers with you on that one mm -hmm. Um, this next one is one of those games that shall not be named, but Philadelphia is going to be traveling to the Big D in Dallas mm. to play a uh, Dak Prescott list. Maybe Cooper mm -hmm. Rush, maybe Trey Lance. We don't know yet. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be Cooper Rush. I think it's going to be Cooper starting Rush for that as well. Football team. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, who do you have in that game? Oh, man, I got Philadelphia. And that's even if Dak was playing, even if Dak and CD were both playing. <laughs> I got I got Philadelphia. I think they're the better team. They're rounding into form. They are yeah. looking good. Um, they're kind of starting to figure things out. They got uh, their weapons are healthy, and that's a that's a great fit for um, Jalen Hurts. Um, you see the difference when AJ Brown and Deontay Smith don't play, and as soon as they get back, he looks like a different guy. Um, he's not turning the football over. He's got ten touchdowns, four picks. So um, yeah, I definitely and Saquon Barkley. Let's you know okay. he is you know was he second in the league in rushing time, right man. now? He is doing his thing. And the Giants are continually, continually kicking themselves. And so, yeah, I definitely got Philly. Um, yeah. Nope. Cowboys I, I, are bad, and I love I it. Just, I, I think it was just one one simple term you could have used in that entire soliloquy was, what was Saquon that? Bartley. Okay, fair enough. Say. That's all you had to say. Because, honestly, right. Saquon Bartley is hurtling people backwards. What the hell you think he about to do to Dallas? Yo, who does that? <laughs> He's hurtling people backwards. Who does? I've been watching football since the early 90s. Who does that? Matter of fact, no, the late 80s. And I've never seen that before. And never. Barry Sanders is my guy. I have never, <laughs> never seen somebody backwards hurtling. New, new breed, you are wild. Scam. Nice. <laughs> he says that's, CD that's stole dope. the money. Wow. CD oh, my God. That's funny. Uh, that's that's funny. That's a good one. But yeah, I like yeah. that. Um, yeah, that's good. Saquon is literally hurling people backwards. <laughs> Dallas that, is in a yeah. they're in a spiral in the wrong direction. I don't even know if Michael Parsons is going to play. Honestly, it doesn't even really matter. Um, of course not. Like I said, they don't have anything going on offensively. Now they don't have anything. Go I mean, first they didn't have anything going defensively. And now they don't have anything going offensively. Like we said, CD scam maybe. I'm stuck in my head now. CD Lamb. CD Lamb has a sprained AC joint, so he might not be playing. So, yeah, man. I mean, Saquon Barkley, this could, this is another one of them, you know, bet the over on whatever yard yeah, you're yeah. matching him carrying um, mm -hmm. this week. Might All get right? another buck 50. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Anything, yeah. if it's 80, bet the over. If it's 90, bet the oh, over. Yeah. If it's 100, yeah. bet the over. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> bet the over. Even though um, Tennessee is not a terrible defense, but, yeah, uh, Saquon Tennessee? is just – he's in he's in his groove, yeah. What are you talking about? No, it's a tennis – Um. oh, I'm my bad. I think see, I was, this I was is what happened. Bro, this is what happened. No, you over there half, watching I'm not even that watching freaking the green team. It's a halftime. I'm not even watching. Say. I'm not even watching. I promise. <laughs> Damn. I'm like Tennessee, bro. What the hell is you talking about? Nah, I'm bugging because I'm I'm looking at the thing, and the Tennessee is right above Philadelphia. So my bad. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, man, All let's right. move along. Moving on. All right. So this is a good one. Uh, New York Jets are going to be traveling to Arizona to play Caleb Murray and Marvin Harrison Jr. Mm -hmm. Who do you have, brother? <laughs> so the Cardinals won last week. So. Is this week the week that they go ahead and drop back down again? Correct. <laughs> we have no idea what we're going to see from these guys, man. I, <laughs> one I, I up, really one down. don't know. Say again? One up, one down. One up, one down. That's a fact. Um, but no, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the Jets here, man. Uh again, I think so. I believe we'll never again see the old Aaron Rodgers, right? I think that's just no. done. But he's still not in a terrible spot. He probably still can get close to 4,000 passing yards if he can stay healthy this year. Um, he's got 15 touchdowns, so, you know, he'd get up around 28, 30. Uh, I, think, I think the key here is they need to get the ball in Brees Hall's hands more, but this is, um, this is a decent football team, and, uh, again, they have a really good defense. Not quite as elite as it was, but, um, oh, wow. Nah, we're not in Maryland, bro, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but uh, yeah, I I got I got the Jets here. I, I think they're going to win this game. Yeah, I think the end of last game that could be what sparks mm -hmm. the Jets to go on a better run. Right, that second half was just absolutely Aaron oh, wow. Rodgers esque, uh, De uh, uh, Devontae Adams esque, uh, Garrett Wilson esque. Those guys really did show out uh in mm -hmm. that second half to really uh help put that game, right. game away against the houston titans houston mm -hmm. texas mm -hmm. um so i think we can get a little bit more of that and like you just said arizona won last week so this could be the one week where they go back mm -hmm. to the other They're direction just... um you know up and down like a roller coaster so yes sir i think new york jets they arizona has something to fight for like i said they are in one of the toughest divisions in the league but new york truly has something like they're just trying to be in any type of conversation when it comes to the playoffs, especially when you have a Hall of Fame quarterback, Hall of Fame receiver, and yes, that right. defense um, that you have on that sidelines. So, I mean, on that uh, mm -hmm. on that defensive line. So, uh, <laughs> Aaron Frost, well, he's just got the name. Going, yeah, man. he got him lined up. New Breed is killing him tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's killing him. All right, all right, brother. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, hey. scam and Aaron. Hey, you want to talk? Hey, you like want to talk about scam? Hey, Aaron, man. fleece fleece the Jets, bro. <laughs> sure Jets. did. Sure that man did. came over there, got his bread. He could do what he he could make all the calls if bring he the people him, he want with him. People, oh yeah, get the staff. Like that's yeah, right. That's that's some that's some scamming stuff right there. Mm -hmm. All right, um, last game of Sunday night. What is going on, Steve? Uh, last Steve, game of Sunday man, night. Man, what's good? We have the Detroit Lions traveling to Houston against that is such a great offensive game. line. That's such Texas. a great game, man. But the way Detroit is playing right now. I can't pick against them. I think I'd be foolish. And and it sucks because, you know, we had high expectations. Uh, many people um, had high expectations of uh, Houston coming into this season. But, man, the Lions, they just look like a well-oiled machine right now. I, I can't pick against them. And, you know, it's all love to C.J. Stroud and, and the rest of these guys and Mixon and all that. I think uh, – I don't know if Mixon's going to be playing. But, um, yeah, I, it's definitely the Lions for me. Like, that's an yeah. easy one. Yeah, I don't think it's nothing hard about it because Houston's offensive line has given up in the last three weeks seven to eight sacks a game. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, right. um, and the Lions just added Zadarius Smith. I granted he's probably may not play, but mm -hmm. they may give him enough time because uh, he was just, pickup, though. just yesterday. But that's all. That's a great pickup um, mm -hmm. for that defensive pass rush. Every yeah. they lost Aiden right. Hutchinson exactly this season. Mm -hmm. So, but I think they still have enough to to just get after cj stroud and but yeah. houston texas don't have a defense enough to stop detroit so i just think Ooh. that's just what you have uh for the texas uh 
the dead that digs injure hurts the Texans. I honestly, new breed. I think that ever since Nico Collins went down, <laughs> that offense just wasn't the same. And I think the digs wouldn't just kind of you know put the cherry on top. Um, mm-hmm. you know, when he went down as well. But Nico Collins is on track to possibly play next week. I've I've been uh reading. Uh so you know, he could get his weapon back that could you know put him back in a better direction as far as mm-hmm. the season is going so far. Cause I think they were six and two. Six um and yes, six and three. Yeah, six and three. Okay, so six yeah. and three, not bad. Um, mm-hmm. you know, you're still in a great, great position. You're you know, mm-hmm. more likely definitely gonna win that division. Um, yeah. so you know, they're in a good they're in a good spot. Mm-hmm. All right, final game Monday night. Miami is gonna be traveling to Los Angeles to play the Rams. Mm-hmm. So Miami looks like they've got new life. They look like a new team. And again, man, Tua, difference maker. I can't believe I'm saying that, but he clearly is. That team was absolutely anemic while he was gone. Yeah. But um, it, it's it's going to be the Rams, man. It's definitely going to be the Rams. I think they are uh, the better team. They're kind of getting it going. They're getting some pressure defensively. They're getting some of their weapons back. And, of course, they've got their guy. Go ahead. You know who it is. Kyron Siren, Go Irish. My man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was, hey, I, ain't gonna hold you. I was waiting on you to say I'm like, go Irish. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I think I think uh, I definitely got the Rams here. Good football. Yeah, team. no, I, I agree with you. Even though uh, you know, like you said, Miami, they're offensively they're looking better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's just right now, man. Matt Stafford is he's he's with his weapons, man, he's a problem. He's a force to deal with. You got Puka Nakua so good, he's just punching folks, right? Because he knows that Cooper mm-hmm. Cup got it. Like, hey man, Cooper Cup back there. I'm good. I could just punch somebody and leave the game. Kyron Sire running the football. So mm-hmm. uh, I definitely got the Rams here. Uh, I think this is going to be another shootout game. I definitely see both teams uh, scoring about 25, 24 plus uh, up, up, up on the scoreboard because I don't think either one of them have defenses that you're scared of. So I think it's going to be a lot of a lot of air yards uh, for sure mm-hmm. um, against both teams. So, But I think right. Los Angeles is going to have enough to pull it out. Yes, yes, they will. Yeah. Um, real quick, I see some uh comments in the chat. Uh, what's going on, Miss Gale? Um, can we move on to the best round with uh highest basketball IQ ever uh, to touch the court? Larry Bird, I think Magic might argue with that, and maybe Michael too. But anyway, not the point. Uh, we, we will get to that, I promise. <laughs> um, also, uh, Steve, how is FSU and Notre Dame? Not a topic, it's not a topic on its own. We're gonna do a little bit of college football, but um, if, if you want that topic. Uh, what's tomorrow? Bruce, Thursday. Bruce, Bruce, Thursday, I'll probably be Bruce. doing a college football show. What's Bruce. up, Transformer? Bruce, what's up, man? Don't don't go down that rabbit hole with Steve. Steve knows what the hell he's doing. <laughs> Steve, not this week, not this week, man. Come on, bro. You know what you're doing. He don't ask nothing about Notre Dame every week. <laughs> every week, right? He knows what's going on uh, in college football. He knows FSU is bad. He knows I ain't saying uh, shit about the nose unless it's a nose player on in the NFL that we're talking about. Right? All of a sudden, hey man, how's FSU and Notre Dame? Not a topic. Oh, uh, that's what funny. You, mean? you know what I mean? So, Steve, uh, cut it. All right? Cut it, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's um, that's all we have for the weekly pick em. Uh-oh. Give me a second, guys. Hold up. You know, you had Philly, Jets, uh, Detroit, and the Rams. For some odd reason, they didn't save the first time. All right. All right, that's our weekly pick So, wish us luck, guys. Had we said uh, Bruce was 10 and 15 last week. I yes. was uh, 12 and 15 last week. So, root for the best. Let us know what you guys think. So let us know if you guys got any upsets going on um, right. or if you like the picks that we have. And if you missed it and you came in late, hit the rewind button, go back, and figure out who we picked. And it's going to be an easy day for you, man. Other than that, easy day. You got it.